Hello, ladies and gentlemen, George Baker here at my health care instrument in Dallas, Texas, and this is micro lesson for May 20, 2023. I have the distinct honor and great privilege today of welcoming Vincent Dubois, a good friend of mine. Vincent played a brilliant concert last night at a uh, Church in Flower Mound, Texas, a new Cassavant organ. He played the initial inaugural recital and played also a premiere of a new piece that I wrote for the occasion uh, on the Sanctus of Mass 8. And what a fabulous evening that was, Vincent. And he is visiting today at our home and I thought we would just uh, have a chance to chat for a few minutes about his fantastic career. And of course, he's one of the titular organists at the Cathedral of Notre Dame in Paris. And he is also a professor of organ and organ improvisation at the Hochschule in Saarbrücken, Deutschland now. So I think the first thing I'd like to ask Vincent is, when did you begin your playing of the organ, your interest in music? Uh, perhaps you played piano before. Uh, tell me, you were born in, in Brittany, yeah. I think. Yeah, but thank you so much, George, for those very kind words. It's just also a great honor to be with you uh -huh. and to know you for many years. and to premiere your piece yesterday. A great work, very inspired and inspiring, I have to say. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, about uh, the start of, uh, I would say, my career. Or, um, when I was a, a child, I mean, I was so impressed by the organ, uh, physically and with the sound. When I came into churches, I just wanted to hear and see this uh, sort of beast <laughs> and um, I said my mother when I was like seven something like that I want to play that it was sort let's say maybe of vocation and she told me no no first you have to play the piano and I said yes no problem I will play the piano but then I want to play the organ. And she told me, yes, when your legs will be long enough, okay. Then I started the organ at age 12. In parallel, I continued the piano, um, which I love, of course. And I, I was uh, born in Saint-Brieuc, which is a city in the north coast of uh, Brittany, Bretagne, uh, the, the west part of France. And I had the chance to start on a very fine Cavallicol organ at the Cathedral of Saint-Brieuc. And uh, this instrument were, was just restored uh, when I started the organ. And I didn't realize the chance I had at that time to start on a such beautiful instrument of, of music. And for the story, it was Philippe Lefebvre who played the inauguration of the instrument, but I didn't know anything about Philippe Lefebvre, Notre Dame or everything, but then I discovered the thing progressively. That's, that's really fantastic. I believe you said you, you began uh, uh, studying at the Angers Conservatory. Yeah. And, and, and after Angers, you then moved to Paris at the Conservatoire, the big conservatory in Paris. And you studied, uh, you were a student of Olivier Latry, I believe, and you, you won first prizes in organ and, and also fugue and counterpoint and harmony and composition. And what, what, what other first prizes did you have? Uh, yeah. All the first prizes you, you had. Not all, because I got the second prize in improvisation because I failed that day. It was not a good day. Oh, a oh, bad day. <laughs> well, that happens. Not the way it is. <laughs> That's life, yeah. Yeah. That's the direct, let's say, the, 
we say in French le spectacle vivant, that means the show. Uh, if you are there, you are there, that's great. If you are not, yeah. well, that's your problem. Yeah. yeah. But you were a, a star pupil of Olivier Latry, and, and, and it was Olivier who, who uh, uh, at first promoted your, your concert career. And if he couldn't play the concerts, he, he would yeah. give you the yeah. concerts. And, and so you started playing all over the place. Yeah, and um, it was wonderful um, for me. Yeah, yeah. He, he helped me so much. And, yeah, uh, yeah, really, just, just great. Yeah, yeah. at SMU, uh, what I do now as a uh, organ uh, uh, improvisation teacher is many times just just work with with beginning uh, students who are just starting in improvisation studies and, and they've never done it before and they come from different backgrounds what kind of advice would you would you give to uh, a beginning improvisation student because so many of them are are are, uh, are terrified at the idea of improvisation but f at least for you it seems like it's just it's something very natural and and it's not to be feared, but but it's just something to enjoy and to embrace. What what advice might you have to a beginning improvisation student? Well, I have to say first, you have to to want to want it. I mean, it's sort of something that should be a part of you saying, "I want to improvise." I just want that and I love hearing people improvising, I love this style, I love this music, I love these composers and I want to do the same way and mm -hmm. things like that. It's sort of wish from yourself, like a composer, you know, for me a true composer is someone which has this uh, wish to compose, young I would say. Uh, if it's not the case, <laughs> anyway, and people say, well, I love hearing improvisation, but uh, I dare to do something there. Um, uh, I would say first, the musical culture you have will help very much. The all music you have in your mind, the whole repertoire you have played, the most you, repertoire you played is the best, of course, way to also get some reflex uh, as improviser yeah. and uh, so musical culture repertoire and of course if you can learn how to how to write music and how to make an organ sounding by writing music to organ that's really great because then you learn you know the about the sound texture you learn about of course the harmony how it works or the counterpoint it depends what you what you write and what you want to, to compose or if you do harmony if you do counterpoint both together is the best way of course always and you know it's sort of interactive things between culture, analysis, composing, and doing it, and searching at the manual, at, at, at the keyboard, searching ways. I mean, if you don't look for things, if you just wait the professor telling you what to do, that will never work. You have to, um, um, to push yourself and try and is that thing sound well is this thing sound well or not well uh, all texture of the manual what can i do with that i mean i can go there i can go there i can do both on just one stop you know it's searching many things at the same time colors harmonies uh, counterpoint lines and 
also being inspiring by some people who has inspired you. For myself, for example, I was very inspired from this famous French school of the start of the 20th century that you know perfectly well as well, mm -hmm. uh, George. And and as far as I played a lot of piano, I played quite some Ravel, for example, at the, at the piano. And this composer uh, had, for me, had a real great impact on my artistic life. And also, uh, and yeah, not also, but first in improvisation. Of course, I love Bach as well and improvising in the style of Bach is of Bach is for me also just a joy but you have to to do a lot of uh, let's say training at the keyboard uh, at, at the instrument it's not theoretic only it's doing it jump yeah. jump into the water <laughs> yeah 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 and it's a long process then yeah it grows up in your mind it grows up but year after years after years but you have to do it and to to focus also on the physical reflex right but uh, you say it takes time and i often remember jean Anglais, with whom i studied for two years in paris and uh, Longley would always say that it takes 12 years to learn to improvise. And Tournemir told him the same thing, something like that. It was 12 years or 15 years. It, it's, not, it's not six months where you start and, and then at the end of six months you, you're a great improviser. Yeah. It, it takes a long time and, and uh, if I understand what you're saying, uh, you, the more repertoire you, you play, the, the more organ literature you play, and the more music theory that you know and have studied, you mentioned counterpoint, you mentioned harmony, you mentioned fugue, those, all of those disciplines, the better prepared you are to then go and create your own music in, in improvisations. Uh, yeah. So, I think uh, to be patient is is important, but also you have you have to want to do it, and you have to put in the time and and the work. It doesn't just happen. It, you, you're not just like okay, make me an improviser, give me a pill to to so I can do it. it it's it's like any discipline or sport, you know, you have to practice yeah, but and work. Exactly, and I would add that as young as you could start with it, in parallel with the repertoire, with the theory, with everything, yeah, the would better. be the best. Yeah. Because for everything, as young as you could start, is the best. Yeah. For everything in the life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the yeah. learning a language, a foreign sure. language, yeah. uh, learning, I uh, would say, mathematics or whatever. Sure, or, yeah. yeah. If you, you, you hear about the great ice skaters, you know, who start when they're three years old, or the skiers, mm -hmm. you know, who start on skis Sport. when they're four, uh, the earlier the better. So that's, that, that, that's good advice also. Uh, so I think um, and just don't I think, be shy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't be shy. No, uh, I remember, I remember when I was I think seventeen years old. That would be in nineteen sixty-eight. I first heard a uh, a recording that Pierre Kostro had come to SMU in nineteen sixty-six for a special event. It was the Neiman Marcus Fortnight, and Pierre Kostro came to play a concert on the new organ at uh, SMU, Meadows School of the Arts, and Maurice and Madeleine Durifle were invited, and they came and they played a concert. 
but my former teacher, Robert Anderson, had a recording of Koshrow's Symphony, 1966. And I heard that recording and it was like, you know, I felt it was like Vierne Symphony Number no. 7. It was absolutely brilliant, incredible. How can he do that? And, and from that moment, I was, I, I wanted to go to France and I wanted to meet him and maybe hear Notre Dame, maybe even play the organ. Oh my gosh, to play it would, would be like I go to heaven mm -hmm. if I get to play the organ at Notre Dame. Well, that happened, all of that happened in 1973 when I moved to Paris. I got to play in August of 1973 a concert and I met Pierre Cochereau. And he listened to my concert, in fact. Mm -hmm. and, and that was the start of our relationship and our friendship. And, you know, I became a student later on. Uh, uh, anyway, I, I am so grateful that you came and, and that I could hear you in concert last night at, at uh, St. Philip the Apostle Catholic Church in Flower Mound. It was a brilliant concert. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, the the uh, the encore piece was Carillon de Westminster of uh, Vierne and and that was great. Uh, uh, Dupré Evocation, I mean uh, uh, Vierne six uh, scherzo and finale. I mean, why don't you play something hard sometime instead of all this easy stuff? You know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I should do that. Uh, change the. The repertoire, maybe, playing <laughs> the berceuse. <laughs> but you know, th thanks so much to tell that, uh, George, and it's just a joy uh, to to speak with, you know, with you, and you have a, such a French background, probably, the, the, for me, the, the most French uh, background of, of any American organist that I know, and uh, I just hope so many Americans could take advantage of your culture and the old thing you have learned and and the talent you have uh, also for creating music. And uh, as far as you you teach uh, you teach here the the improvisation in SMU, uh, I just hope you you will uh, create not create because you are there for a while still but it, it will last i mean this line of french improvisation style that you you teach there and not only french style but improvisation in general but in particular the, the french style and hope you will influence lots of young uh, american people uh, that, that are interested in in the improvisation and in the French style. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. And of course, we want you to come over and and, and teach at SMU and, and perhaps uh, in the future we can we can share we can yeah. share students uh, for two weeks, you know. Mm -hmm. We send them to Zalbrucken and maybe your students could visit visit Dallas and, yeah. and and we can feed them barbecue and and, <laughs> they would and have enjoy have that. a have a have a wonderful interchange. Thank you so much. Thank you Mike. for your friendship. <laughs> Thank you, John. Thanks. Thanks.